great reunion when they arrived, and we're pleased to be joined by three of those orphans today, 10 years later. How are you guys? <laughs> On this, the couch? We yes. were just looking at video. Did you recognize yourself in the video? Use that micro. This is Wasami <laughs> Valencia Islan. Good to see you all. Um, what's what's the past 10 years been like? You didn't remember a lot of it, did you? No, I don't really remember it too much. But you're thankful to be here, right? Oh, thank you. Thank, thank, thank the Lord. Thank you. That's, that's a lot. I love it. That is a lot to me. Lettuce, what about you? Do, do you remember, you know, looking at that story? Did it jog some memories of that time 10 years ago? Yeah, I, um, I remember some of it. I remember getting on the plane. Um, I remember my mom being there with me on the plane. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. And Valencia, talk about your, your home country. Haiti, you still go back. Yeah, um, yeah. every year I try to go down there at least one time. Um, it's funny, but I'm going to be going to Haiti, like, next week. Next, you're going yeah. in a week? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm going down there to see some family and some other people down there. So. That is terrific. Yeah. Well, let's talk about adjusting to life in, in East Tennessee. You've been here 10 years. Uh, does it feel like home? Yes, now it feels like home. It's crazy. It's been 10 years, but it's it's been good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that is terrific. And you're all doing good. Um, you're in school, right? You're. I was in school, but I'm taking a break. <laughs> yeah, you're going back to Haiti. You're playing sports at Fulton High School. I love it. Um, <laughs> all right, now, uh, a pilot that flew into Haiti made that dramatic rescue in that field. We have him here today. This is Adrian. Come on up here. <laughs> hey, Russell. What's up? How you doing, brother? How you doing, buddy? Thank you. <laughs> good to see this you. This guy, Thank you. Mark Zimmerman from Whitestone Church, come on over. Adrian, go, go stand behind that couch over there if you would. And, uh, I mean, truly a hero. Yes, I mean, you were describing. Former, it, it's been great to, to get back with Adrian, former South African fighter pilot, oh. flew into Haiti. What was that flight like, Adrian? It was absolutely memorable, uh, Russell. I believe my friend Mark here will especially not forget that flight <laughs> because uh, he was uh, a little bit nervous, but we had a mission and we are all grateful to uh, say that it was uh, very, very successful and uh, God was truly uh, in this and we, were managed, we managed to get these fine young people out of there and proud of them today. It seemed impossible to some to land that plane. You were determined. Tell me your mindset and why you just knew you had to get on the ground. Well, I had, uh, as a professional pilot, I normally have peace, or I don't have peace, with uh, executing an operation. And in this particular case, I had a lot of peace. Mm -hmm. And to me, that was the indication. So uh, I had no doubt in my mind that I'd land in Jack Mel. So I did that, and I, I'm grateful today that that worked out the way it did. Hey, Mark, you, you weren't so sure. <laughs> you were on that plane, right? I was on what that What was plane. it like for you? Um, we did have peace. We did have peace because uh, he had this confidence about him that uh, it was all going to be okay. He, we, I remember we had to fly over Port-au-Prince, and uh, we were going to the south side of the island, and it was military airspace, I guess, and Correct. so he had to fly crazy high. Correct. And then just <laughs> drop the nose down. All right. And uh, he had told us we had stopped in... Uh, in to, to fuel in the Turks and Caicos, and he was always looking for other ways to help, and there were some people that had tents that, that uh, asked if he could take them on the plane, and he said, well, I, they might be too heavy. Well, okay, we'll take them, and so the wow. whole time I'm thinking, okay, I hope he had overshot the runway here, <laughs> but it was, uh, with, it was flawless. Incredible. He did, he did say, as soon as the wheels touch down, everybody kind of stick your feet down because we got to stop really quick. Wow. Okay. So, All right. And it, this is incredible. And Adrian, I don't know if you know this. Since that trip where these six came home, 29 other children in Haiti have been adopted. And we have many of them and their family here today. So come on up here. Just walk on up. We don't come care. On, we got a bunch of them here in studio. So come on up, gang. Any parents that want to come up too? Um, it's been truly just, remarkable an effort with this church family to yeah. bring these children home. So these are three of the original six that made that flight back, and then some of the 29 other children that were adopted. Just amazing. Katie, so glad amazing. to see you guys. Thanks for coming on. And uh, uh, Mark, talk, quickly talk about uh, Atani, one of the little children that had been adopted, um, tragically passed away in the earthquake, mm -hmm. but now her little sister is here. This is Eden. 
And this is Atani's little sister. Oh, we're so glad you're here, too. Thank you all for joining us. Adrian, what do you think about all this? Did you ever imagine that flight, when you got those six out, would do this? No, I have not. I, I think it was absolutely an uh, incredible uh, consequence of circumstance. And your, and your little boy, Adrian Jr., is yes. right next to you. He's right. He was... He, doesn't remember it, but he was there. He was at the airport when we landed uh, with his with his uh, mommy, and uh, they all welcomed the, the orphans. And I'm sure they none of them remember it, but it was a, it was a great celebration. It was an incredible celebration. So many people from this community stopped by to. We were there waiting on you guys. It seemed like a long time, but how cool is it that you're all here together? And we appreciate you guys all coming back ten years later. It doesn't seem like it's been 10 no, years. No, it doesn't. Wasami, what's it like when you get to see other children, even though you're, you've been in America, that are from Haiti? Um, it's amazing like to see um, people from my culture and that understand where I come from and how we act and how we are. It's, it's love. It's just love. That's great. That's wonderful. So cool. And Valencia, we hope your trip goes great to Haiti. Islam, we're, we're proud of you. We're proud of all, uh, all of them and their families. Uh, I've actually been to Haiti with some of them, and uh, incredible families. Whitestone Church uh, just mm -hmm. deserves incredible credit, and Pilot, and so many of uh, you viewers. I think it's 25000 in medicine alone was oh. donated, mm -hmm. um, and we made sure that got to the right place and uh, showed those stories. Mm -hmm. You can see those uh, on YouTube. We're also going to have more on this coming up at 5 and 6 and 11 as well, and WBIR.com. Just incredible. Thank, Thank you, you guys for being with us. Really special. Thank you so much. Yes.